Hi, my name is William Zvalo. I'm a horticulturist with Perenia. In today's video, we'll learn about basics of sweet potato production. Our focus is a crop establishment, crop maintenance, harvest, curing, and storing of sweet potatoes. Sweet potato is a tropical plant, and unlike regular potato, it's grown from slips or uh, cuttings. The slips are usually brought from southern states. They could be produced locally, but uh, for the cost reason, they are brought from the southern states. A healthy slip would have four, three or four leaves and about three or four nodes. By the time they come here, uh, they may already begin to set the roots. Sweet potato is grown on the raised beds. It's either a single row or a double row. The beds are generally about 100 to 150 centimeters apart, center to center, and the plants are spaced 30 centimeters apart in the row, and the rows on the double bed is about 30 to 45 centimeters apart. The general rule is that two-thirds of the cutting go below the ground and one-third goes above the ground. So that would mean one or two leaves would be sticking out of the ground and the rest of it will go into the ground. Sweet potatoes are harvesting in September. Depending on the growing season, it could be mid to late September. Longer they will grow, greater the yield. That's the general rule. Sweet potatoes are hand harvested. The skin on the roots is very tender. It needs to be harvested very carefully. So you probably need a good fork and then uh, dig about 10, 15 centimeters from the plant. Ideally, the foliage be either removed or burned out with the light frost, and then lightly loosen up the soil and pull out the crop. Black plastic is used in sweet potato productions. Our research indicates that there is a yield advantage approximately 30% when the black plastic is used versus no plastic. This will create a warmer environment in the soil and sweet potato strives in that environment. Sweet potato is not very demanding crop for nitrogen. Only about 50 to 90 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare is recommended. On the light soils with low organic matter, high rate of nitrogen needs to be applied. Nitrogen is best to be applied in two or three applications per growing season. If the drip irrigation uh, technology is used, then one-third is applied pre-plant and two-thirds of the nitrogen during the growing season. Once harvested, sweet potatoes has to go through curing process. And curing is a process when the sweet potato is exposed to a high humidity and high temperature. It's temperature about 25 to 29 degrees Celsius and the humidity about 85 to 90 percent. This this is the period in which the skin will harden off and makes the sweet potato suitable for long-term storage. Aside from hardening off the skin, sweet potato also develop its flavor during the curing process as the starches are converted into a simple sugars. Sweet potato in the long-term storage has to be stored at 14 degrees Celsius and about 65% relative humidity. In this environment, it would store for three to five months. If you've done everything right, at the end of the season, you will be rewarded of uh, probably about a kilogram to two kilograms of sweet potatoes per plant. This will depend on a lot of things, but uh, generally that's what we get in the Annapolis Valley.